I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Today we're doing a collective luxury haul. So some of these things you may have seen popping up on Instagram, on my stories and on my pictures over there because I bought them through December um, and I haven't had a chance to unbox them for you guys because I wanted to use them. If you're not following me over on Instagram, I'll throw my handle up for you because um, it's a great place to see me style things and just catch up with what I'm doing on a day to day. Um, so I'll throw that handle up for you. But some of these things you, if you are following me already, you will have seen pop up and other things you haven't. Um, some of them are for my wedding, which by the time this goes live, will I be married? I will be very, very close if I'm not like days, days, hours. It's, it's imminent. And I've said that in a few videos lately, but that's how close it is. It is imminent. Um, so let's unbox some of these beautiful things that I've had sitting around all this time. Some of them I have used, so they're not true unboxings. Um, and some of them I have not. <laughs> so this is the first one, um, from Versace. So if you have watched my Instagrams, you know what this is before I open it. I have one. Dale from Dale's Addiction has one and she has worn hers a lot, <laughs> um, which I'm thrilled about. So yes. Let's open it and then I'll tell you the story. So we have, it is the Versace pink robe. So it is very, very pink. So if we open it up, so you can see how pink it is. And then it's got the um, brocade, well, it's just material, but it looks like the brocade um, Versace pattern on the sleeves and on the tie that goes around it and on the pockets and I, I bought these um, for my hens so I don't have bridesmaids for my wedding as such I am not a traditionalist in that way it's just me and my partner um, but I did invite a group of ladies that I love dearly, some of whom I have known since I was six years old, some are very new to me like Dale, but all of whom I love and adore and who are beautiful, strong, capable, um, loving, generous, kind women. I am blessed to have friends like that. They all came to celebrate my hens with me and as a thank you for them giving up their time to do that, I bought them all Versace robes. So I had someone come in and do our hair and makeup for us. So we felt fabulous. Um, and as we were having that done, we all wore our robes and it was lovely. And if I find, I'll find some photos and insert them here for you of us all wearing our robes. Um, so yes, I did that because I wanted to, I chose the pink because that's my color. Um, so everybody went home with a pink Versace robe, including Dale, who now wears hers, which I'm so thrilled about because I hope everyone is wearing theirs. Um, so yes, that is my first unboxing and I love it. And I wanted to really get it done because I want to wear it on my wedding day while I'm getting pretty. Okay, let's move on to a few other things that you may have seen from my hen's night that I wore. So the other things I bought, I bought this handbag. So this is a Kurt Geiger handbag and I blame Nick Snell for Kurt Geiger. Um, and I will link his channel down below. He has some beautiful Kurt Geiger pieces. Um, and I wanted something that wasn't gonna be overly precious because I was taking this out to a club. Um, I knew it might get wet and have things spilt on it. And this is, plastic essentially. Um, but I just thought it was super cool. Like it's very me unlimited funds platinum. So it's just silver on the back and you just open it up by pulling it's magnetic has a crossbody strap. Um, it fit my phone, which was great. And a little bit of cash, which was all I needed, but it was just fun. So I bought the Kurt Geiger credit card bag to take with me out to the club as well. Um, so yes, I also bought that for my hens. And I also bought, uh, there were quite a, thing, a few things I bought, not those ones, these ones. So uh, Dale in her videos had talked about Stuart Wiseman shoes that she had bought and she and I have very similar taste in lots of things. So when I saw hers, I was like, oh, I need a pair of those. 
Um, so I bought these ones and wore these on the night of my hens. So they are just Stuart Wiseman. I think they're like 70 or 85 millimeter heels and they're in this beautiful pinky lilac color. Um, and I wore these to dinner. I didn't wear these out to the club. They're just to dinner shoes. Um, and there's really not a lot to them. Um, comfort. Um, yes, I survived in them. They're not the most comfortable pair of heels I have ever worn in my life. They're okay. Um, would I like to be doing hours and hours in them? No, no, I would not. Um, there's not a lot to support your feet in them, but they are very beautiful and they went very well with my dress. And because I bought them in that color and I'm an insane person who has collector tendencies, I also bought <laughs> the blue. And I have not yet worn these ones, but they are gorgeous in this blue color. So they will probably also get a workout. So they're just Stuart Wiseman. They're not overly expensive shoes, but they're also not cheap. So, and they came from Farfetch. I got them from Farfetch. So yeah, two new pairs of shoes as well. When I bought um, that Kurt Geiger bag, I also bought this one. And I've only just recently used this for the first time. So it's a wok and it's just this beautiful rainbow of colors. And once again, I bought this thinking that if I'm going out dancing, this is a really good um, bag for that. It's essentially just a wok. It's got credit card slots. It goes cross body. It's got silver hardware. It's just really pretty. And I recently took this out for the night when we went dancing. And um, once again, if people spill things on it, I'm okay with it. It wipes clean. It's not incredibly expensive and it's going to get ruined um so i just thought this was great so if you like kurt geiger i got mine on farfetch um you can buy them at david jones here in australia um i believe their website ships to australia they do fun stuff i keep looking at kurt geiger shoes thinking do i need kurt geiger shoes because they're so much fun so if you like me and you like color and you like fun um, and you don't want to spend the earth on it like it's not high-end luxury it's probably Sits above Topshop, but yeah, it's it's high street brands, I suppose. I, I honestly don't know. Somebody needs to give me a um a key on where everybody sits. But yeah, it's like hundreds instead of thousands of dollars. So yeah, Kurt Geiger, check them out if you love fun stuff. Um, I also bought some other shoes which are a lot of fun. The club we went to, the requirement was you had to wear enclosed shirt enclosed toe shoes which sent everybody into a frenzy just before my hens night because um we had all chosen these strappy sandals and then suddenly no you couldn't do that some of the girls wore um joggers or like converse sneakers and they were really comfortable for the night i went and found myself a nice sparkly pair of boots to go with my outfit um and i love them so much these are just from midas like they cost me 200 and something dollars this is not a high level luxury it's not even luxury they're just shoes but they're so much fun so these are from midas here in australia just bought them online i got 20 percent off them but look at them look at these boots like when you look at the bottom of these boots you know why you don't wear open toed shoes oh isn't it gross <laughs> but that was the club we were in like the carpet was awful but the music was amazing so we had a great time but look at these boots how cool are they so I bought them to go with my dancing outfit as I am calling it I was very sparkly I got told several times I looked fabulous, so I had a great time. Um, but these are just from Midas, and they're a couple hundred bucks, and they're awesome. I love them. They were so comfortable, guys. I can't tell you how comfortable they were. I was in them for several hours, dancing up on my feet, and I was fine. So definitely worth it if you want a pair of um, not overly expensive boots that are just a lot of fun. I'm all about the fun. And because I bought those ones, I also got, look at them, the red. I have not worn these yet, so that's what color the bottom should be. Look at them. So I got the red ones as well because I can't get Fendi to do me red sequin shoes. So I got a pair of red sparkly boots that I can wear with my red sequin baguette. Look at them. They're so cool. I love them. A couple hundred bucks. 
they have an impact. <laughs> There's massive impact when you wear them. So if you love a sparkly boot and you're in Australia, I don't know if Midas is international, but they're certainly Australian. You can hop online and buy them online. They are fabulous and they are comfortable. Other things that I have gotten recently include all of these little things. So for my hens, my fabulous friend Dale from Dale's Addiction bought me the most beautiful pair of earrings. She sent them down to me from Brisbane, which is where she lives, um, ahead of time so I could wear them on the night. I did wear them on the night. I will insert a picture if I have one here of me wearing the beautiful earrings that she gave me. Um, and they came from Farfetch. I believe she got them from Farfetch, but they're from a brand, a designer called Jennifer Bear. So this is the... Um, dust bag and it's out of New York and they're all handmade so when she sent them to me I was like hmm I've never heard of that before I don't have a lot of fashion jewelry um I don't wear a lot of fashion jewelry um and I need more of it well that's what I tell myself anyway so when she sent me those and I loved the ones she sent me I went on a shopping spree and bought a whole heap of other Jennifer Bear place, uh, pieces so let's have a look at the ones that I have bought and some of these are for my wedding so I bought this pair and these are very similar to the ones that she gave me. They're just shorter. So the ones she gave me are super long and these ones are much shorter. So I just love these stars and these beautiful um, diamante details. So these are not real diamonds, um, but they are handmade and they are high quality. They are comfortable. They are just, they're beautiful. So I got those ones. I also got this pair, which are just really super simple, which I think will be beautiful just for like dinner and basic going out at night occasions. So I got those ones and I got, I told you I went on a bit of a shopping spree. I find a brand and I'm like, oh, well, what else do you do? I bought these ones because I love the colors of them, the purple and the pink. And I think they'll be really, really beautiful. And they'll go with a lot of what I own because I wear a lot of purple and pink, as evidenced today. <laughs> and these ones. Oh, these are quite heavy. Oops, oops. They're very full on. So they're a contender for my wedding, um, like the reception, and so are the stars at this point. So I'm not sure which one I'll wear. And to be fair, I might not even decide until the last moment. They might all just get packed with me. Um, and then I'm still deciding on how I'm going to have my hair, but I have a feeling that there will be pins involved. So I also bought from her, this is a bobby pin. So with the little star, it's just so pretty. So I've got that one bobby pin and then I also bought these ones and my hairdresser on the day will just decide what suits, how many of these we need, but I bought a selection nonetheless. And these are all bobby pins as well. So they're also all the stars. So I don't envision myself wearing a whole heap of these. I don't have that much hair, um, but I do want to keep it like especially for the ceremony because it's outside I want it off my face I don't want it blowing through my lipstick um, so I will probably use at least one of these um, if not a couple but I have options there these aren't cheap um, but they're not thousands of dollars um, they do stock through Farfetch if you want to have a look on that um, and obviously there are often codes especially around hanging around YouTube for Farfetch so if you're interested in Jennifer Bear um, jewelry then please check them out on Farfetch she probably has a direct site I've just bought all mine through Farfetch so beautiful beautiful things and I thank Dale for introducing me to the brand I will most certainly be keeping an eye on it going forward two more things well a couple more things actually so while I was in the city for my hens I swung by the Dior um counter at David Jones the concession there and had a look at all their new beautiful beauty items and I bought some because I love beauty so the gentleman uh, that helped me there was fabulous very attentive and was kind enough to give me because I said I collected the little stars up here 
uh, they're just out of shop today. I've got Dior stars hanging. So it was kind enough to give me two of the Christmas stars for me to hang with all my other ones. And also gave me samples. Dior are really good at giving samples, I've got to say. They're usually fragrance samples, but they will generally give samples, which I think is fantastic. Um, and I bought a few things. What did I get? I got oh, I got the Dior Show Christmas box, and this has the um, primer and the um, mascara in it, but the primer is little. So great for travel. And then the Dior Show Mascara is full size. And this was part of their Christmas boxing, you know, the gifts that they do. Um, so I grabbed one of them while I was there because I love Dior Show Mascara. I love their primer. I have it on today. I wear it a lot because I love the primer and it makes them super long. So I picked that up. I also picked up uh, the palette in the greens because after doing my five stages to style course, I realized I can wear green eyeshadow because my eyes are green. I'm not going to go nuts, but I can certainly wear it. The browns in this probably won't get used, but it's a great palette for greens nonetheless. And you don't see a lot of green palettes, I've got to say. So I picked that up and that's the Dior Backstage Eye Palette. And it's in uh, khaki neutrals is what it's in and I don't generally do anything that says neutrals but I really liked the green in it uh, and then I got some ink single eyeshadows as well so we have this one which is in the um, gold so it's very sparkly but who doesn't need a light gold eyeshadow every now and again so that's in the color gold star glitter and this is in, <laughs> there might be a theme. This is in Pearl Star Glitter, this one. Oh, look at that. Look at that color. That's going to just add pearl to anything that is under it. And this one is in Cree Dior Metallic. <laughs> if you know um, Hermes colors and you know that what color it is based on the fact that it's Cree, there you go. <laughs> So it's like a silvery gray metallic. So I'm really into metallics at the moment, I have to say. I've got a lot of metallic eyeshadow. I think I've got some metallics on today. Um, but I really love a metallic at the moment. And day, night, I don't care. I'll wear it. Got a little bit of glitter in it. I'm there. <laughs> so I picked them up while I was in there as well. And then the last item I've got, I literally just bought like a couple of days ago. So these are Louboutins, obviously. Christian Louboutins. I do love my Louboutins. Uh, and I grow, I've got a great sales associate there and she sends me pictures. She knows what I like. Anything that's pink that comes in, she sends me. Um, and I also like their joggers a lot. Um, but you can see up here, these aren't all my Louboutins. They're just the ones that I picked out in this particular color palette. Because let's open these ones. So she sent me a picture of these and I was like, oh, I really like them. Is so pretty look so these are 85 millimeter Christian Louboutins and they got the red bottoms in this beautiful pink color which is not the same as the other pinks I have I would like to point that out yes they are completely different to all the other pink heels I own so I am lucky enough to have these ones which are the ballet pink color like a real um, pastel but um, pink I have these ones, which are my out there fluoros, which are a little bit ruined now because I've worn them out to party. Um, I have neutrals, of course. And now I have this stunning color. It's so pretty. I just love them. So I've settled on a 38 and a half at Louboutins. So these are 38, these are 39, these are 38 and a half. I've found it really hard recently with losing weight to work out what size I am and shoe size has changed for me. I used to be a straight 39, no questions asked. And now I will sit anywhere from a 38 to a 39. So I've settled at Louboutins on 38 and a half. Although if they were flat, they might change slightly. If they were taller, that might change slightly. So 
Shoes are hard. I feel like you've really got to try shoes on to make sure that they fit. And these are 39s and they're fine, but I admit that after a while, I feel like I'm slipping out the back of them. And these are 38s and I feel like after a while, my feet are being strangled. So let's go with a 38 and a half for now, hey? Um, but it's just such a beautiful, beautiful pink color. So this is being filmed mid-January 2022. If you love this color, it is currently in store at Christian Louboutin. So go and check them out. They are beautiful. Oh, okay, so that's my collective haul. Lots of this stuff has been sitting there for ages and I really wanted to get it unboxed for you guys so you could see what I've been buying. I don't just sit around and buy Fendi and Louis Vuitton handbags all the time. I do love other things as well. I especially love this. It um, has a special place in my heart because it will always be tied to my hen's night and those fabulous fabulous ladies that I got the chance to spend that time with who will all be at my wedding any day now. Yay. Um, so yeah, I just love everything I bought and I hope you guys really enjoyed the unboxing and something different for me. Um, if you have liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to a content um, creator when you do thumbs up the video. Please also hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you here um, and it, that also means a lot to me. If you want to be notified when I upload videos, please hit the bell notification and I will also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over on Instagram. I put lots up in real time. Sometimes you see things ahead of the unboxings like you have today. Um, so it's always handy to be over there and see what I've got coming up. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.